What's going on traders? My name is Paul. Welcome to the channel. And in this video, we're going to be introducing you to a brand new strategy that's going to be using a three step confirmation for finding profitable trades in the Forex markets. So in this video, we're going to go step by step everything that you need to know. So that way you can identify your entry points, stop loss and take profit levels. Now, as we go through this video, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. You can also email me directly anytime via email. Always happy to help. And for more information on how you can start earning passive income through the Forex and crypto markets, I'll leave some valuable information down below, which you can review at your own time. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's roll the footage. Let's get to this strategy. All right, folks, so we're going to be using TradingView for this tutorial video. Now, you can use this particular strategy on various assets and on various time frames. However, it is your responsibility to backtest thoroughly depending on the assets and time frames you choose because, of course, every asset behaves a bit differently. So we're going to be focusing on the 30-minute time frame for Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. And again, this is a three-step confirmation with specific rules that we're going to be outlining. And we're going to need three different indicators to follow these steps accordingly. So the three indicators we're going to be using are as follows. We have a 200 exponential movement average. We have the volume, and then we also have the STC. So to add these indicators to your chart, you're going to come here to indicators and you're going to add the exponential movement average. You're also going to add the volume indicator, which is just the regular volume indicator, as you see here on my screen. And then the last one we're going to be using is the STC, which is this STC indicator. Next, we have to adjust the settings. So we're going to come here to our exponential movement average, go to settings, and all we have to do do is change the length here to 200. Now you can go to style. I made it white and I've also made the line a little bit thicker for easier visibility. This is going to help us identify the current trend that we are in. Now for the volume, what you want to do is come here to style and we're going to add the volume moving average by clicking this little box here. And then we're going to go to inputs and we're going to change the MA length to 30. And then for the STC indicator, we're going to go to inputs and we're going to change the length to 20. And what this will do is clean up the indicator itself so that way we can have visibility to more accurate trading positions. Once you have everything set up, this is pretty much what your chart is going to look like. So for buy trades, we want to make sure that the market is above our 200 exponential moving average. Now, as you can see at this point in time, market is currently hovering over and retesting that zone of the 200 EMA. But before we enter a buy trade, we want to first make sure that as the market is above our 200 EMA, we want to look at our STC indicator and we're going to wait for the line to turn green as a result of this bullish candle. Now, the last thing that we want to do before we enter a buy trade is look at our volume and we want to see a green candle at least least touching or pushing beyond the moving average on our volume. Once we have all three confirmations, we'll enter a trade here. Our stop loss will be beyond this pullback. Now, what you can do is target at minimum one to two risk to reward. So we're risking about 30 pips. We're going to target about a 60 pip take profit. And as we play this out, we can see that our take profit was hit perfectly for a one to two risk to reward, ending up in a 60 pip profit gain. Now here we can see obviously the market is still above our 200 EMA. We're still in a bullish upward trend. We have a green indication from our STC telling us to enter a buy. However, we'll notice from the volume that we do not have any bullish momentum or that green candle as we mentioned from in our previous example anywhere crossing or touching our moving average within our volume indicator. So this is something that we would most likely not take. And we can see that if we actually had taken that trade, it would have most likely hit our stop loss. Now the market is coming back down to retest our 200 EMA, which is a good sign for bullish continuation. And as you can see from our STC indicator, we have another green signal. Not only that, but we also have a bullish volume with green candles crossing beyond our moving average on the volume indicator so we could enter here for another trade. Our stop loss would be set here beyond this pullback or a little bit beyond the 200 EMA targeting a one to two risk reward. So we would be targeting a minimum 40 pip take profit. And as we play this out, we could see that our take profit was smashed beautifully again for another one to two risk reward gaining another 40 pips in profit. 
So again, just to recap for the rules of this strategy, first you want to make sure in this case we're looking for buy trades, we want the market to be above our 200 EMA. We first wait for our STC indicator to turn green on the lower level because we're looking for buy trades. But before we enter a trade, we want to see bullish momentum and volume where the green candles are crossing or at least touching the moving average on our volume. Once we have all three indicators, we enter for a buy trade. Now for sell trading positions, obviously it's the same concept, but in the opposite direction. First, we want to make sure that the market is below our 200 EMA, clarifying that we are in a downward or bearish trend. Then we want to look at the upper level of our SDC indicator and wait for the indicator to turn red as we see at this point. Now, before we enter the trade, we also want to look at our volume. And as you can see, we have bearish momentum crossing beyond our moving average on our volume as our third and final confirmation. So we would be entering here for a sell trade stop loss beyond this pullback for a 30 pip stop loss targeting a minimum one to two targeting about 60 pip take profit which as you can see this would have been a successful trade at this point over here shortly after that we had another opportunity just in case if we had missed the previous example that we just went over where at this point in time in the market, our SEC indicator had turned red. We also have our volume indicator showing a lot of bearish momentum crossing beyond our moving average. So this would be another beautiful entry point here. Again, pushing our stop loss beyond this pullback. Again, risking about 30 pips. So targeting a one to two, which would be a 60 pip take profit, which would have been another successful trade. So ladies and gentlemen, that is our strategy for today. It is a very simple concept of using three indicators as added confirmation for finding pro profitable trade entries, taking advantage of the upward and downward trend momentum of these markets. But remember, as a rule of law, when it comes to using various strategies, remember to backtest these thoroughly before you apply these onto a live account. And of course, make sure that you are also adding added levels of confluence, such as market structure and price action with any strategy that you use. And don't forget that if you do have any questions or need help, feel free to reach out anytime and make sure that you check out the information down below so that way you can learn how you can leverage the crypto and forex markets to earn a passive income. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you enjoyed it, gained some value. God bless. We'll see you on the next one.